Welcome to the Alice Springs Desert Park. My name's Doug. I'm a guide here at the park, here at our park. Of course, we have a really good display of native animals. We have the rare and unique types, which you can see in our nocturnal house. And also when you come on our nocturnal tours, but we also do have more of the more iconic animals on display as well. One particular animal that you know many of our visitors, international visitors, like to see when they come to Australia, and particularly to Central Australia, of course, kangaroos. And we have uh, the most iconic when the, and the true Arizona kangaroo on display here, the red kangaroo, which you can see just behind us here. Now, uh, kangaroos are a unique animal to our environment, of course, and also from a cultural point of view, we're very, very important animals. Where Aboriginal people for thousands of years relied on this animal for survival and of course he was uh, the main food source. Reason being, the red kangaroo, out of all our kangaroo types here in Australia, is the biggest and it's the male which is the biggest. can grow up to 1.8 to 2 metres tall, you know, and sometimes weigh anything up to 70 to 80 kilograms. So, if you want to go hunting for a decent animal to feed 30 people, that's what you go for. And while I'm talking of that, I do have the traditional hunting kit here. So it consists of spear. You see quite a long spear we have here, which is one of the most important tools to bring the kangaroo down. Another important part of the kit, the spear launcher or spear thrower, which acts as an arm extension, giving you greater power and leverage to hurl the spear with a lot of power and accuracy. And part of the kit was, another part of the kit, tool to finish the job. So once you disable the kangaroo, you want to stop him and make sure he doesn't suffer too much. Now in saying that, his importance as a food source, of course the Aboriginal folks, but that doesn't mean he wasn't respected. In fact, the animal was very highly respected. Uh, ceremonies were held for the animal. There were songs and stories for him is illustrated in traditional artwork that you'll see in the uh, ancient rock paintings that you'll see around Australia and also displayed in the modern desert art that you see where you see the kangaroo symbolised by the parallel lines that you see within the uh, dot paintings uh, they are the symbol of the kangaroo track so you can see how he is a very very important animal culturally to uh, Aboriginal folks not just here in Central Australia, but, but many, if not all, Aboriginal groups here in Australia held him in high regard and very high respect. 